here I am. Home. They say we are the gateway to the world. They say we are a global city. But sometimes, I wish the gate was smaller because it's getting crowded. And we all thought the cheap PC talk but hate the noise and the creeps, the aliens on the streets. So, I get out. Here I am in TV land. When they come to our shores, we snigger at their wide-eyed optimism, their crass, first world beliefs. But here, I am the Asian girl who speaks great English, who must be good at math, who comes from a country where you can't chew gum, who probably grew up with a tiger mom, who despite everything I tell them about who I am, am not Singaporean or Chinese, but Asian. My entire history erased by a continent. And here I am, tracing back my family's journey, the one that they made three generations ago, except today, we tell the people making that same journey, go back home. Here I am, the Chinese girl who doesn't know her roots. <laughs> my entire history, the size of a continent, and I am clearly lost. I ask for directions, but they smirk as the word school try to drill into me, slip out like nails on their ears. I'm reminded that for them, I'm the girl whose family escaped a history of suffering. I can barely speak to find my way, let alone call this my motherland. Here I am, land of smiles. We come because it's cheap and exotic. We put up with the filth because it's gritty and grungy. Homeland of the hard labouring refugees from a hard knock life we are put up with back home. But here, I'm slowly learning how much richer they are. A city of people who love each other. Their history and culture literally measured in gold. And I do nothing but ask for bargains. They smile and entertain, but behind their teeth must think, how cheap and pathetic I am to be so rich, but still pinch each penny. We act like gods marching through their markets, but in their eyes I see that we're just passing ants. Here I am, land of mysteries. But in our city, just the source of the bags on which our city is built. Low class, talk funny, drink too much. But here I am, and it's a nation so much more complex than I can ever understand. Here, it's me who's a cliché. One amongst millions rummaging in the streets for spiritual food. Tell me something about myself. Tell me something I need to know. Tell me something so I can see. Let me put on a bindi, throw on a sari, put jasmine in my hair. And the reply in every glare, check yourself before you talk to me. You have no power here. Here I am back home, travelled out. And I think I don't know the world at all. I can never fully grasp it. The world is not my oyster. I am not its pearl. On the trains, I look up and see faces I suddenly recognise. Travellers, far from home. Homes we only understand in caricatures, pictures in tourist brochures trying to make a bed in this place, but all we can see is bodies taking space. We're all foreign. Whether deep in the forgotten history of our blood or as part of another country's flood of the unwelcome, we are all the same. Making our way, getting by, making a home. So, what decides who should stay or who should go, who is local or merely a passerby, is toiling for the land and being respectful of its future enough for anyone to call this their second home? <laughs>